Well, it's been two days since Connecticut's primary elections, and most of the races are now set for November. We now know what those ballots will look like, and Fox 61's political reporter Emma Wolfhorst spoke with the winner of one of the most watched primaries, which of course is the Republican contest for U.S. Senate, taking on Senator Murphy. Emma, tell us about your conversation today. Yeah, Bridget, Sarah, I spoke earlier this afternoon with Matthew Corey. With low voter turnout in primaries, the state GOP says this way was really all about who voters knew. And now that Corey's officially become the Republican nominee, he wants to make sure all residents know who he is and the reasons he's running. When you still have open borders, you can let over 5,000 people come across the border, and then you give the president emergency powers to shut down that border. You can shut that border down after one person. The problem is there's catch and release. There's no border security. There's an H.R. 2 bill sitting on Senator Schumer's desk that should be passed today. Well, what does that mean? If you're waiting for asylum, wait, wait for it in the near, nearest country next to your country before you come into to the United States. Why should taxpayers pay for that five to seven years down the road while they're waiting for asylum? Our communities are not safe unless you back law enforcement. And I don't know where Senator Murphy's community lives in, but there's a lot of communities and you see a lot of shootings around that are happening in Connecticut. East Haven police are being attacked. We need to support law enforcement, give them the tools they need to keep our communities safe. We need to support ICE and we need to support the federal law enforcement working with state and local officials to remove people that are committing heinous crimes in this country. Obviously, every field, you know, will have those who aren't following the rules. And we have seen cases in law enforcement where officers are not doing their job correctly. Where is the line for you when it comes to, you know, you, you say supporting law enforcement, but also is there a line there then for, for prosecuting those who aren't doing the job correctly? Well, that's where they have internal affairs. When it comes to abortion and abortion medications, what do you believe on that do issue? Do not stand with a, a, a nationwide abortion ban or a federal ban. Band. I stand with the citizens of the state of Connecticut. Yeah. The law is settled here in the state of Connecticut. I stand with the citizens. So, which we have heard, I've heard at least from a lot of Republican candidates as well as state legislators, that really seems to be the platform here is keeping this a state's rights issue. Is that what I'm understanding? Yes. And you can watch our entire conversation this Sunday morning at 10 on The Real Story, our weekly policy show right here on Fox 61 and streaming on Fox 61 Plus. Sarah, Bridget.